We are here today on these historic grounds, which not only house the history of our sport, but also witnessed it take place firsthand. This stunning venue, as many of you know, hosted the very first U.S. National Championships back in 1881. It now stands as a monument to those who created the history of this beautiful sport that we love. Today, three great competitors hailing from three very different corners of the globe, and each with a unique story of their own road to Newport, will join tennis's most elite ranks as Hall of Famers. In addition to the three newest members of the Hall of Fame, we are joined today by an illustrious group of existing Hall of Famers who are here on the stage behind me who travel as many do each year to welcome their newest colleagues. Starting with Charlie Passero. <laughs> In the class of 1996, a member of the original nine of women's tennis, Rosie Casals. <laughs> a great honor it's such a great privilege I feel very happy I feel very proud and very grateful that my career is being recognized everything that I've done to now be in the Hall of Fame and considered one of the all-time best female tennis players in the history is incredible so life isn't easy we have our ups and our downs there's pain there's struggles there's difficulties, there's hardships. For everyone, no matter what you do in life, we all face those things, and it's how you deal with them. And I know for me, tennis has made me resilient, and it's taught me how to persevere. I want to thank Billie Jean King. Um, Billie Jean King called me yesterday to congratulate me. She couldn't be here, but that meant so much to me. I'm so grateful to Billie Jean King for what she has done. And the original nine. Because if it wasn't for the boldness and the guts of Billie Jean, Rosie, and the original nine, there would have not been a WT tour, and I would have not been able to play. So I'm so grateful for that. There is a quote that I read The goal is only as worthy as the effort required to achieve it. So grateful. Thank you so much. Please join me in welcoming the second member of the class of 2019, a two-time Grand Slam singles champion and a legend in Russian tennis, new Hall of Famer Yevgeny Kamenkov. When I received a phone call from Stan Smith saying, Yevgeny, you finally elected to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's a big thing. It's a huge honor. I'm honestly thankful to the Hall of Fame committee for selecting me into the Hall of Fame with all the other legends. It means the, the world to me, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Harry, it's going to be hard for me to beat you or something. But, uh, I, can, I can assure you I'll, 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 try, I'll try my best. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you how honored I am staying in front of you tonight on such a uh, such an important day for me. Mom and Dad, I know you're watching it. I love you so much. You've been there for me through thick and thin. I love you. And uh, when I come back home, we will, we will celebrate this. Uh, you all know that the 
professionals go through up and downs in their career. And in the middle of 98, I felt like I was struggling with motivation and, uh, and desire. So my agent called me up and says, look, there is, there is Larry uh, around. If you, I was on my own, they say I had no coach. And then he said to me, look, you want to you wanna try with Larry? He's, he's got a good reputation. He coached uh, John McEnroe before. I said, yeah, let, let's give it a shot. And parts in those three wonderful years that we had together, I have accomplished a lot with you. So winning the 99 Australian Open, becoming then three months later in May, number one in the world, and of course, uh, 2000, uh, 2000 Olympics. So I value our relationship very much so till, till this day. You know, we've been friends for number number of years, and hopefully we'll we'll stay like that. Uh, for, for I want to thank the board member and boards for making this day very possible for me. And uh, I know what it's like now to to be a Hall of Famer, and I will definitely carry that uh, responsibility for the rest of my life and hopefully I'll be not, not disappointed. Thank you very much. Our third and final member of the International Tennis Hall of Fame for the class of 2019 is a two-time Grand Slam singles champion, a finalist on two other occasions, and a woman who pioneered the sport and introduced it to a nation where it is now spreading like no one could have ever imagined. Would you please welcome to the stage, new member of the class of 2019, Li Na. I never think about I'm the hero of China. For me, tennis is my job. I only have to do is doing good in my job. This is big moment for my tennis career. Also, it's big moment for my life. My name is Lina. It's from China. Lina is pretty simple um, and common name in China. I would guess maybe they have one million same name like me in China. <laughs> Tens has taken me around the world, extra different country. Also, because of this great sport. I have learned self-control and become better organized. I think for this, I can benefit by long and more importantly, not only on the tennis court. It has been five years after my re retirement. Uh, in the past five years, I enjoyed better work and life, balance, and the most importantly, I got a few children. Amazing sport. Uh, 最后还要感谢这么多年来一直支持我的球迷，谢谢。